Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I learned a lot from my last relationship, but it was also just such a weird relationship. Um, really just be protectful of yourself and just always be true to yourself. That is That's so it. cliche and so... Yeah. Okay, what, do you want to dig deeper? Can you yes, explain deeper? Yes. Ask me a question and dig deeper then. Yeah, he does. Wait, come on. <laughs> dig deeper, dig <laughs> deeper. Like, yeah. ask me. Yeah, right, right? <laughs> yeah. What'd you learn that was like, okay, you know what? We can apply it to ourselves. Just stay... I know it sounds cliche, but seriously, stay true to yourself. What he did to me was like, try to get me to be someone else to fit him and his lifestyle. Oh, see. and he was very controlling. Trying to change you. Uh, yes, controlling. very controlling. Just out of curiosity, what did he try to get you to do? What did he not try to get me to do? <laughs> he, uh, I mean, he tried to get me to not talk to friends. He tried to Smart. get me to delete my Instagram. Smart. He tried to get me to not uh, wear certain clothes, not talk to certain people. But wow. I, and I know it so, wow. I know you guys are like, oh, this sounds great. But it's not because it totally was changing who I was. Someone should fall in love with me for who I am. Mm -hmm. And yes, it should be a respectful relationship. And if, you know, I wasn't who he was looking for, then fine. But it shouldn't get to a point where it's like abusive and controlling. Wait, did he hit you? Yeah. Okay. That is not acceptable. However, I would say, did you hit him? No. Did I hit him back? Maybe. Once. Yeah. So no, yeah, no, no. It was more like stopping. he. No, no. It was more like me protecting myself, to be honest. Okay. Well, I won't speak on your relationship because I wasn't there. Silent. But I will say that um, it seems like he cared about you. That's why he was saying certain things. Um, that's, that's not my an point excuse. of view. Not to hit you, of course. I'm saying don't, the other stuff. Talk about the other stuff. The Instagram dressing a certain yeah, way. Never said that. Yeah, no. It's. We, um, we I think. I think the way that you guys are hearing it is more like what you see every day like i don't want i don't want you posting this i don't want you saying this no this was like you have to show me everything you post before you post it and then it turned into you're not allowed to have an instagram and then it turned into like days where he would take my phone and like hide it and just like yeah Whoa, that's a yeah like <laughs> like a little how long, like, how, long not, were you guys, how long were you guys together we were together for eight months did you live with him yeah did he pay all the bills and take care of you well he had to because he didn't let me work Okay. Uh, what did he do for a living? Um, he is the vi vice president of a tech company. Okay. So he was a high earner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was he an attractive guy? Tall and all that? Too? I mean, yeah. Would it be fair to say that guys like that are probably going to have standards? Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone should have standards. And male standards, a lot of the times, I would argue, typically limit a woman's freedom to a degree i mean that's just the reality that's how men are with women they're territorial and a man that actually cares about you that has uh standards they're typically going to limit your freedom to a degree and that will encompass going out with certain friends going being on the internet exposing yourself to certain things i think a man once he starts putting boundaries on you it means he really cares about you i'm not condoning him hitting you i don't know what happened there yeah. but what i am saying is that a lot of girls tend to misconstrue uh, a man caring about them and they say oh he's controlling because he put limits on me doing certain things that i was able to do when i was single but isn't that the whole point of a relationship be a leader i see where you're coming from um especially because in relationships a lot about it's a lot about compromising and having respect for each other and mm -hmm. it's your point of view and your perspective of what respect is and some of that is covering up a little more being a little more classy not talking to certain people that could come in between that relationship this was a little different. This was, you're not allowed to have any friends. You're not allowed to see friends at all. You only need me. Was you don't it need your to... female friends that he didn't want you to hang out with? No, it was no friends ones? at all. I wasn't allowed to have one friend. How's the basement? <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <you saying? laughs> How's the basement? Because the basement? <laughs> Damn. Was like, cold. Damn, Chris. You locked up? Damn, Chris. It was cold. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so you just didn't want to, I guess, uh, you didn't like that he put these boundaries on you and you felt like it changed you. So be true to yourself is what you would say. Yeah, be true to yourself. Obviously be respectful. Like, you know when you're in a relationship and you want to change things about yourself for someone because that's who you, you're truly meant to be and flow into. For example, if I found a guy where I felt comfortable, of course there's certain people I would stop talking to. Mm -hmm. There's certain things I would stop doing naturally because that would be a natural flow of things. You felt but like if he was forcing you? Yeah, of course. If you were sitting here right now, would you say that you're full of shit? Yeah, chat no. being honest. Chat I'm being a thousand percent honest. Yeah, chat full of shit. Yeah, because, full well, of shit what, I've, what I've <laughs> noticed about a lot of, and here's the funny part, I didn't even look at the chat. I've, and I'm not saying this about you, but typically when women talk about their acts, they super over-exaggerate um, he's controlling and what was done and typically they don't 
I, what I've realized just from talking with a girl is because we actually had a girl say a bunch of stuff about her boyfriend and he called into the show. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, I would oh, love if well, he called in. Well, you know, Wait. this actually. <laughs> call him. We'll do it right oh now. My God. He's blocked. But if you want his number, you can call him. <laughs> because what I've realized with girls is they'll tell you what the guy did, but they never tell you what led to him behaving that way. Yeah. Girls never talk about their own behaviors that might have led that way. Yeah. Maybe you were on the phone too much. Maybe you were talking to exes. Maybe you were dressing in a certain way or whatever, and he felt like, yo, I got to put... Typically, men don't put strong boundaries up like that unless the woman has done something to somewhat deserve it. Not saying you deserve yeah. any type of treatment like that, but I always am skeptical when women tell me that men are controlling because they never say what they did wrong. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I, I totally understand what you're saying, especially because there's a lot of women who are on the wrong side of things where they're like over exaggerating or it's like they're very selfish and they they want it to be all about them this is not that scenario this is just a weird scenario where he the honestly has something weird going that on hitting you i'll give you that because yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's my never stuff do that, yeah. never hit women yeah, yeah, i mean i'm beginning. i'm really about mental health and like being the best person i can be um personally just because of all the shit that i have been through so all right. Okay, uh, what 